When you think of the fastest car in the world, you probably think Italy or France, but not for this segment of Boys Toys. In this edition, we're in the heartland of good old USA. <laughs> when you hear the name Hennessy, and I don't mean the alcohol, you should think of this man, John Hennessy, and his out of the world supercar, the Venom GT. Top Gear Magazine just recently proclaimed it the fastest car in the world. So it's for a very select few group of guys that want the ultimate speed machine, and that's what it's designed to do. Wait just a sec. Before we show you the full force of the Venom, I want to give you an idea of who Hennessy is and what they're known for. Located just outside of Houston, Hennessy is most known for their crazy car modifications. We take fast cars and make them go faster. So whether it's a Nissan GTR, a Corvette, a Viper, a Camaro, a Jeep, a Mercedes, what have you, if it comes from the factory with some performance and it has the upside potential to be faster, that's what we do is we take cars and make them go faster. I mean, look around at this fantasy garage. This caddy now has over 800 horsepower. Think that's cool? That's child's play compared to the real reason we hit up Houston the Hennessy Venom GT. It's 1,200 horsepower, 2,700 pounds, and some of the bodywork is all carbon fiber, so very, very lightweight. It's mid-engine, it's a V8 twin turbo engine. In the back, it's rear-wheel drive, so we don't have the additional weight of an all-wheel drive system. The aerodynamics in the car are designed to keep the car hooked up and planted to the ground. The faster you go, the more downforce it produces. After years of careful planning and testing, the Venom now has a top speed that can't be beat, and one ride in this car will knock your socks off. So what is the top speed this baby can go? 275 miles per hour. Oh, gee, that's all? That's it. And it's actually a very easy, comfortable car to drive, but when you put your right foot into it, it's like no other car I've ever felt. It is the fastest car that I've ever driven, and we've built a lot of powerful cars over the years. Road and Track Magazine did a speed shootout, and I think the results would shock you. Hennessy is giving Bugatti a run for its money. It was a test put on by Road and Track Magazine. They invited a handful of cars, factory cars, a few tuner cars, to see which car could go from zero to 200 miles per hour in the shortest amount of time. And uh, at the end of the event, we were around 20 seconds. The Bugatti Veyron was second place around 24 seconds. Real big number is it'll go from zero to 200 miles per hour in just over 15 seconds. Aside from being named the fastest supercar in the world, a lot of notable men and famous people are taking notice. Just one day before filming our segment, a very famous singer and judge put in his order for the new Venom GT. Steven Tyler from Aerosmith and American Idol just recently ordered a car from us. And, and as I was riding in the car with Steven and talking about the car, he says, man, you know, I'm 60, 63 years old and, and I've done everything. And just driving a car like this makes me feel good. And so for a guy like Steven, who can have any car he wants, can do pretty much anything he wants, it's something that's very exclusive, it's very unique, and it's like the ultimate thrill ride. If you're the guy who likes to collect one-of-a-kind cars, the Venom has your name all over it. With only a few made each year, you're sure to be the only one in your state who has one. We're only going to build 29 cars in total, so the handful of guys around the world that have ordered the cars or will order the car will have something that their contemporary fellow uh, friend that they're competitive with probably isn't going to have. The ultimate one-up. By the way, this is the other John, engineer for 38 years, race car driver, and the guy who's going to take me for a ride in the Venom. What does it feel like to ride in one of these? I'm sitting in one, but... Well, the uh, it has all, kind of all the right things. The vision is all what you'd expect in a real high-performance sports car. The sound, when you start the engine, rev the engine and accelerate, is just, it's, a, it's like this piercing sound that you'll get to hear. All right, gentlemen, start your engine. Okay, you ready? Let's do it. Fortunately for us, Hennessy had their own drag strip, so we could open her up. Unfortunately for us, a drag strip is a quarter mile long. 
and we could only get her up to 160. I was really hoping we'd get the Venom up to 270 miles per hour. All right, so you've seen this baby in action, and now you're probably thinking, wow, that's one heck of a race car. Well, stop right there. This car is no such thing. You know, some people look at it and look at the performance and might say, well, it's just a race car. No, this is a completely street legal car. Registered, title, insured, full interior, air conditioning. And so it, it is a complete, regular street car. Power windows, power everything. It just happens to be the fastest as well. As far as customizing your new Venom GT, the possibilities are endless. So what color do you call this, bumblebee yellow? <laughs> Call it Bug Killer Yellow. Bug Killer. As a Bugatti. Oh. <laughs> so, how much would you or Steven Tyler expect to pay for this spine tingling supercar? One million dollars. I wonder if my boss will consider a new company car. The same.